You may have noticed when some users log into Office 365 that they get a custom login experience. So, for example, with this demo account here, uh, I get a custom company logo, I get some flavor text that appears at the bottom of the page, and, you know, the, the background image here uh, is a big, pretty custom image. That is accomplished through company branding in the, the Azure portal. So we're going to log into the Azure portal here at portal.azure.com. And I am going to show you how that works. So I'm going to log in with an admin user for my tenant. And once I'm in the Azure portal, we're going to go to Azure Active Directory and Company Branding. And in your tenant, you may not already have a, uh, a default locale. You may not already have Company Branding enabled. If you don't, you just want to create, uh, there'll be a new button up here that doesn't say new language. It'll just say new. You would select new and that will take you to a page very similar to this one where you can go in and upload uh, custom images for branding and you can add custom text uh, for things like the the little flavor text that sign in page text that's at the bottom of the login um, I would recommend paying attention to the recommended image sizes and file types because that'll make everything work a lot better and that's pretty much all there is to it once it's there um, we uh, publish that just by saving those settings and then the next time that your users log in, they'll get that custom login experience. It's very useful from the, um, it's a very useful feature because it, since your users get a custom login experience, it's something that they're expecting to see every time they log in to uh, any online portal for Office 365, whether it be uh, one of the admin portals or just you know, opening their email uh, via an Outlook on the web. Um, by having that custom login experience, uh, it helps prevent users from, from being phished, for example, because most of the time, the people that are running phishing campaigns against your users, they don't, they don't perform any customization of that login page that they're using to try to capture user credentials. So just the fact that they get a custom uh, login helps prevent things like that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very simple to get to. Um, you can go customize that in any tenant. It doesn't require any special licensing, and it's something that we definitely recommend doing.